Okay, I'll be removing the back seat, and this is a, in a 2020 GMC. It's the same in a Silverado, um, 2019 and newer. First thing you have to do is remove the headrests by pressing in on these two uh, buttons here, and then the headrest just comes out. And once I get that out, I'll show you the next step in the process. So with the headrest out, you'll look in, you'll see the little metal bar would be on the right side as you're looking down. Once you uh, go ahead and locate that, you'll want to get a tool similar to this. It's the easiest way to pull these out. You have to pull those out before you can uh, uh, go to the next step in removing the seat. So I'll get uh, situated and I'll show you how to pull those out. So when you look at this, it's kind of tough to see. I'll show you when I pull it out, but there's two channels you'll see when you uh, look down and with a tool like this you want to line it up on the left side get it all the way to the bottom and turn it 90 degrees push in a little bit and it'll just come right out so what you can see i'm doing here is on this detent when i'm turning and pulling i'm just removing it so that i can get past that lock right there and then it just pulls right out. So you have to do that for all six of these because that's one of the items that locates the, the seat in the back wall. So get the next six out, or get all six out, then you can move to the next step. You have four bolts along the back that you need to get out. And there's one there. <clears throat> You'll have to push the carpet down. There's one right there. Let's see if I can. There you can see it. Right back there on the wall. So there's four of them along the back, along the back wall. So that's the next step in getting this out is to take those four out. The next and final step is where each one of these anchors are, there's a latch behind it. And so we have to get that out. And you can use that same, the same awl that you used um, for taking out the headrest holds to reach back in here. And you want to point it towards the passenger side and kind of lift it up while you're doing that pull the seat forward. So uh, once I get this out, sh I'll show you. Right, so there are three of them there. This side is the easiest. The easiest because you can actually kind of see it when you're uh, in here. So I can get some light on it for you. So you kind of need to reach down and hit this right there with your ball and you lift up as you're lifting up you pull the seat forward you'll hear it you'll hear it unlatch but there are three of them there's one there one there when you get all three of those then this whole seat back slides forward ready to pull it out so there gives you a better look at the seat back out and maybe you can see how these ones are again you just lift up on this piece as you pull it out and then the seat back will just kind of pull forward there are three of them they're kind of hidden but you get a good idea of their location based on the edge of this bracket that's where they sit. Same on the third one over here. You can see that release sits right there on the edge of that bracket.